Greetings, friends. Today we are going to responsively style radio buttons. Um, you use Bootstrap's call XS and a star. Um, this star is actually supposed to be just classes on form elements too. This way, our radio buttons will be evenly spread out across the page, regardless of how wide the screen resolution is. So here, if we move this. <clears throat> The, the icon, the, the images grow and shrink the page, but these guys are still uh, the same. So we want to nest our radio buttons. These are our radio buttons. And those can be seen in the form. Uh, from here, these are our radio buttons. Uh, nest each of them within a div of XS6. So basically we want the radio buttons to take up half of the page because six is half of 12. So we want each individual radio button to take up half of the column. So inside of the form, uh, yeah, we can just, uh, we can be able to set it up. Um, as a reminder, radio buttons are input elements of type radio. So yeah, they're just reminding you that input type radio. So I'm actually going to do my spacing again. Like I said, it it's annoying to me when um, the, uh, when the spacing's off because it's so much easier to read when it's like this you see like label um, input and then we close the label close the label and this should be on a separate line okay cool. and now it's easy to see you see right these are our, this is our label this is our t uh, our type radio name input indoor outdoor and then we've got the labels are within there and so we want these labels now, the, these ones we'll deal with later. The checkboxes are not going to be a part of this as far as I know. The div events, okay. So, what you can do, and I want to keep it down here, indoor, outdoor, living. Um, we want to have the label and the input element together. So we can go div class equals column excess six, right? And then increase the um, distance on our um, input element and just this is just all for making code readable and then we go div uh, label outdoor and then close div and then here we also want to add the same class uh, class is equal to call x xs and six and if we scroll down you'll see now these are separated by the big space and actually having them put in in the columns makes it so that they fill the area uh, let's run the test to see if they pass okay awesome this didn't pass and this is what i re re uh, wanted to talk about when we create these columns we always want to nest these within a row so if i highlight this whole thing and tab it out i want to create a row so div class is equal to row now think about with that messy code before it would have been so hard to know exactly where to put my cursor but now because it's uh, separated like this it's easy to figure it out and now we see that the these are set into a row and so it's always you create rows and then inside of your rows you have columns and so that's the way you want to think about when you're running uh, bootstrap cool and that passes uh, so yeah if you're having problems just really break this down into sections right you want to have your row here and then you want to have inside of a row you want to have columns where the sum of the last number reaches 12 right um because six and six if you want if you want them to fill half the page you do six and six because it's 50 percent of 12. so yeah thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next lesson